Hello my lovely, lovely, lovely people. Today I am going to be reading Demon Slayer Book 1, Kimetsu no Kaiba. This may become a series since I have the first 23 books, so if there's something you don't like or something you would like me to improve on, please just comment below. I'll try to keep the comments on so I can use your feedback in my next video if I do continue this series. I'm pretty sure I know how to read a manga that goes like that. So, just bear with me, okay? I will try to do it good for you. Chapter 1 Cruelty. Chapter 2 The Stranger. Chapter 3 to return by dawn without fail. Chapter 4, Tanjiro's Journal Part 1. Chapter 5, Tanjiro's Journal Part 2. Chapter 6, A Mountain of Hands. Chapter 7, Spirits of the Deceased. How did this happen? Chapter 1, Cruelty. Nezuko, don't die. Don't die. I'm gonna save you. You can't die. Your big brother is definitely going to save you. Chapter 1 Cruelty Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Kaiba Tanjiro, your face is pitch black. Come here. You don't have to go. It's snowing and it's dangerous. I want us to have a great New Year's feast, so I'll go sell as much charcoal as I can, even if it's just a little bit. Thank you. Tanjiro, you're going to town again today? I want to go too. What? No, you can't walk fast like Tanjiro. But mum. No, he isn't taking the car today, so he can't pull you when you're tired. Takio, I know you can't do a lot, but cut a little wood today, okay? I want to go with you. I will, but I was hoping we'd do it together. Hurry back, okay? Be careful! Tanjiro! Nezuko. I was putting Rasho to sleep, but I heard all the commotion. They've been so lonely since father died, so they've started clinging to you. See you later. Our life isn't easy, but we're happy. But life is like the weather, it's always changing. It won't always be easy, and the snow won't always keep falling. When happiness ends, there's always the smell of blood in the air. Oh, Tanjiro! You came down the mountain on a day like today? You work so hard. You catch a cold. Hey, sell me some charcoal. Thanks for fixing my shoddy door the other day. Give me some charcoal too. Ah, Tanjiro, you're just in time. She says I broke a dish. Help me. Smell it. <laughs> I smell a cat. A cat? Oh dear. See? I told you it wasn't me. Tanjiro, will you help me carry some bottles? Oh, it's getting late. Hey Tanjiro, you aren't going back up the mountain today, are you? It's dangerous. I've got a good nose for trouble, I'll be fine. You can stay here, please. Come back. But it's alright, you're welcome here. You don't want to run into any demons. For ages, man-eating demons have roamed these woods after dark, so you shouldn't walk around at night. Eat, then sleep. You can get up early and go home tomorrow. But... Can't the demons come inside houses? Yes, they can. But then, why don't they ever eat everyone? Because demon slayers cut them down. Have for ages. Old man Saburo lives alone because he lost his family. He must be lonely. Next time I'll bring my little brothers. There's no need to fear. There's no such thing as demons. But now that I think of it, 
My grandmother said the same thing before she died. When happiness ends, there's always the smell of blood in the air. Huh? What the? Uh, what happened? What happened? Mother. Hanako. Takio. Shiguro. Nezuko. Roduka. Only Nezuko's body was still warm. Maybe a doctor can save her. How did this happen? A bear? Maybe a bear too hungry to hibernate? So hard to breathe. The air's so cold, it's freezing my lungs. Keep going. Move your feet faster. It's still a long way to town. I won't let you die. I have to save you. Your big brother will save you. Huh? Oh no, I'm slip. The snow saved me, but it also made me slip. Azuko? Nezuko, are you alright? You shouldn't be up. Let me carry you into town. Nezuko? <coughs> Bro, chomp! A demon! I thought of what old man Saburo said. Was Nezuko a man-eating demon? No, that was impossible. Nezuko has been human since the day she was born. But this Nezuko smells of blood and death. But Nezuko couldn't have done all of that. I found her fallen over Rotaka like she was protecting him. She didn't have any blood on her mouth or hands. And yet there's another smell. Whatever the reason, she's growing bigger and she's getting stronger. While I was safely asleep in town, something horrible happened to my whole family. How they must have suffered and I wasn't left to help them. I have to save Nezuko if I can. But she's so strong, I can't push her away. Nezuko! Hold on, Nezuko. Fight it. Fight for your life. Be strong. Don't turn into a demon. You can do it. Nezuko. Who? Who is that? Akamen Sasa, destroyer of demons. A katana. Why do you protect her? Sister, she's my little sister. <coughs> that is your little sister. Nezuko! Don't move. Demon killing him is my job. So of course, I'll take your little sister's head too. Wait, Nezuko hasn't killed anyone. There was a scent at my house from someone I've never smelled before. That must be who killed everyone. Not Nezuko. I don't know what's making her act like this, but... That's easy. Demon blood got in her wound, so she's transformed into a demon. That is how man-eating demons multiply. Nezuko would never eat anyone. A moment ago, she almost ate you. No, I'm sure she knows who I am. I'll find a way to cure her. I'll make her human again. I won't let her hurt anyone. She won't get better. A human who becomes a demon cannot go back. I'll find a way, I swear. Please don't kill her. I'll also find the one that killed my family. I'll do all that. So, so... Stop! I can't lose Nezuko too. Please stop. Please don't kill my little sister. Please. Please. Never leave yourself so defenceless in front of an enemy. Stop bowing so pitifully. If that works, your family would still be alive. How can a weakling like you, who bows down when it's time to fight, to kill, or to be killed, 
How can such a man choose his little sister, or even find his enemy? If you want something, you must fight for it. The meek have no power and no options. The strong will crush them in every way. Demons might know how to cure their little sister, but no demon will respect it whining and begging. And for that matter, I don't respect you either. That's reality. Before, why did you cover your sister? Did you think that would protect her? Why didn't you throw your hatchet? Why did you show me your back? That's how I was able to take her. I should have skewered you both. Fuck. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't despair. Those things will do you no good. Your family's dead and your sister has become a demon. Your heart is crushed. I know your pain. Now you must want to cry out. If I'd come half a day sooner, your family might have survived. But there is no turning back time. Fill your heart with anger. Strong, pure anger that gives no quarter. Anger that becomes the unwavering force that drives your limbs. Weakle weakness and empty promises cannot protect your sister or find her a cure. And they certainly cannot avenge your family. What? No! Simple, head on attack, relying on pure emotion. What a fool. Fuck. Where is his hatchet? Fuck. Just before passing behind the tree, he threw a rock. And while hidden by the tree, he threw his hatchet. He hid his hand so I wouldn't see he was unarmed. He knew he couldn't win against me, so his plan was to track me down after I killed him. This kid. Fuck. <laughs> No, I'm too late. She's about to eat him. Nezuko. Not Nezuko. Nezuko would never eat anyone. It wouldn't be. The first to say that and then get eaten anyway. Starving demons will kill and eat their own parents and siblings because they need the energy. I've seen it countless times. This girl is injured. It cost her strength to heal that wound. Not to mention the strength it took to transform into a demon. She must be doubtly starved right now. I must want to eat human flesh as soon as possible. But she's protecting him. Focusing her anger on me. These two may be different. What? I'm sorry I had to leave you, Tanjiro. Take care of Nezuko. <laughs> You're awake? Go see an old man named Sakonji Buruk. Kodaki, who lives at the foot of Mount Sajiri. Tell him that Jiro Tomaka sent you. Your sister should be fine because the sun isn't out today. But don't let her into direct sunlight. Whoosh. Hmm? Let's go. 